What's happening everyone and welcome to a brand new Ark Survival Ascended video on my channel and in today's video we're going to be discussing the release of Ark Survival Ascended, the performance issues and some fixes I've found to give you at least stable 30 frames per second. At least this is what's worked for me. So Ark Survival Ascended, if you didn't know, is out now on Steam and the game is rapidly climbing Steam's top 100 played games by concurrent players list. Ark Survival Ascended currently has a mixed user review rating of 42% with most of the negative reviews complaining about performance issues. In the official Ark Discord as well, a lot of people are complaining about performance issues and the very low frames per second that they are getting regardless of what setup they have for their PC. Some people are experiencing no issues and that varies with whatever specifications they have for their PC as well, so it's not like you are guaranteed a good performance if you have above a certain spec of PC. The system requirements for Arc Survival Ascended are a minimum of Windows 10 or 11 with updates. Your processor should be a minimum of AMD Ryzen 5 2600X or Intel Core i7 6800K. Your memory should be at least 16 gigabytes of RAM. The minimum graphics cards are AMD Radeon RX 5600 XT or Nvidia GeForce 1080. DirectX should be version 12, you need a broadband internet connection, and you need at least 70 gigabytes of available space, and you need an SSD. The recommended specifications for Arc Survival Ascended are an operating system of Windows 10 or 11 with updates. Your processor is recommended to be AMD Ryzen 5 3600X or Intel i5 10600K. Your memory should be 32 gigabytes of RAM, your graphics card should be AMD Radeon RX 6800 or Nvidia GeForce RTX 3080. Your DirectX should be version 12 again. You still need a broadband internet connection. You still need 70 gigabytes of available space and you still need an SSD. Even if you have those at the moment though, that's not guaranteeing you a perfectly smooth experience on Arc Survival Ascended. Now, when I first started Arc Survival Ascended, I wasn't getting the best performance out of the game at all. With the settings applied which the game started up with, I was getting around 20 frames a second and it was an absolute nightmare to play. So what I did was I played around with the settings for a very long time and what I noticed was I was actually getting more frames per second on the high graphics preset compared to medium or even the original settings that the game started with. So I took the high settings and I did tweak them around a bit. Now on the high graphics preset, some settings are set to epic so I turned all of the epic settings down to high. Then I went ahead and changed my resolution scale back to 100 and dropped my view distance down to low. I also turned off motion blur, light bloom, and I changed the foliage interaction distance multiplier to one. I changed the foliage interaction distance limit to one, and I changed the foliage interaction quality limit to one as well. Once I did this and I have the graphic settings you've seen on screen, I noticed that my frames per second consistently stuck at 30. It dropped to around 27 a couple of times depending on the environment I'm in. It goes above 30 as well every now and again, but it tends to be a stable 30, which is enough to actually play the game. If you are struggling with your frames per second on Ark Survival Ascended, I definitely recommend trying the settings I've suggested. Obviously feel free to tweak them around even more to get the settings right for you, but that is my temporary fix for my performance issues on Ark Survival Ascended. But that is it for today's video, so please do let me know down in the comments section below if my recommended settings for Ark Survival Ascended have helped you improve your frames per second and performance of the game. It would be interesting to know if this sort of fix does work for a lot more people than just myself. If you've enjoyed this video and you have found it helpful, make sure to smash a like on it to show support for the game on the channel. And if you are new to the channel and you've enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to be kept up to date with all future releases. But other than that, we'll see you in the next video.